I come from the University of Science and Technology of China. Um, it's my honor to present uh, our work, Multiple Handshakes Security of TRS 1.3 Candidates. Uh, this work was accomplished in TCA Laboratory in this in Institute of Software, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Uh, my presentation will cover the following aspects. Uh, in the first part, I'm going to begin with the background and motivation of this research. Uh, the second part covers the, secu the security analysis of TRYS 1.3 multiple handshakes protocol. In the last part, a simple conclusion is given. Now, let's briefly introduce the TRS protocol. As is well known, TRS is the most widely used cryptographic standard for securing communications on the internet. For example, the HTTPS protocol. The current version is TRS 1.2, and here we mainly focus on the TRS 1.3, which is still being drafted. Uh, the first question, why do we need a new TRS version? Firstly, prior TRS versions have been shown vulnerable to a series of attacks. It is a common practice to address one new attack with ad hoc um, updates and patches. However, this may be very hard to implement due to the huge base, huge use basis of TRS. Um, there, may, there may be other additional requirements such as low handshake latency and privacy um, that call for a new uh, standard. Uh, since 2014, IETF has been drafting the TRS new version, TRS 1.3, and the latest version is draft 13. Compared with TRS 1.2, um, TRS 1.3 uh, makes cyber crypto cryptographic changes, such as removing RSA key transport and providing zero RTT option. TRS 1.3 draft 10 supports four handshake modes, which are also the objects of our research, namely the full handshake, zero RTT, PSK-based resumption, and resumption in combination with DGE. Um, in practice, both the TRS 1.2 and the new version TRS 1.3 support multi-handshake modes and allow various combination running of, hand of handshake protocols. Um, moreover, it is due to the interaction and dependence, and dependence of different handshake modes that lead to several practical attacks on TRS, um, such as uh, uh, the renegotiation attack and the triple handshake attack. Um, there are a, a series of wonderful works uh, on security proof of TRS, um, including the TRS 1.2 full handshake, the TRS 1.3 full handshake mode. The composition result uh, for TRS 1.2 renegotiation in 2013 and died for TRS 1.3 resumption in 2015 uh, to significant progresses. Um, however, most existing results um, only focus a fixed one of the TRS handshake protocol, which is not enough for the security, for the security analysis of a complex TRS standard. So our goal is to give a a systematic and comprehensive uh, security analysis of TRS in combination of running sighting, which can cover the various dependence and interaction between different handshake modes. Now let's move to the security analysis of TRS 1.3 multiple handshake protocol. Firstly, we give the formal definition of multiple handshakes key exchange protocol um, through a tree structure um, for the first time. As, illustration, as shown in this illustration, the tree has multiple levels and multiple nodes. And each node can be used to denote one session, um, for example, one TRS handshake. And, uh, and different node types corresponding to different handshake modes. 
we can cover uh, relations between different handshakes through this tree structure. Um, especially uh, in the same level, different sessions uh, run independently and concurrently. And in different level, one session may cache and use the key materials uh, from the related session in prior level. And one multiple handshakes protocol um, running uh, can be uh, um, represented by the nodes on the path from the root to the leaf. We also divide each session into multiple stages, each of which has its own session key. The bold path denotes a running of TRS 1.3 multiple handshakes protocol, namely the composition of the initial four handshake um, zero RTT um, with the PSK based resumption, and the uh, resumption master secret used in the PSK based resumption is derived from the uh, zero RTT in prior session, in prior level, and the uh, semi stack keys used in zero RTT comes from the full, initial full handshake in the first level. For the multiple handshakes protocol, we extend the multi stage model um, to uh, from, from the following um, aspects to, pro, to present a new multi-level and stage security model. Firstly, this model should include all handshake modes and cover the security relations between different handshake modes, and moreover, provide practical and strong guarantees for the multiple handshakes protocol. Mm. In addition, during the uh, model, uh, we also consider the level key dependence property, the semi static keys, um, and moreover, uh, there would be more comprehensive reply rules uh, to the uh, um, adversary's Oracle queries. The below is an overview of the multi level and stage security model. Uh, here, one protocol running um, consists of multiple successful, success, successive handshakes, namely a series of sub protocols. The property of stage J forward secrecy um, indicates the disclosure of all the session keys between uh, before stage J after, after, the, after the corruption of the long, long secret, long term secret. We also consider uh, the con concurrent executions of all potential authentication modes. For example, the zero RTT handshake mode. Um, it may have uh, these two authentication modes. Uh, in the model, uh, we also introduce the definition of level key uh, dependence um, property, which can cover the relations between sessions in different levels. For the adversary with the following allowed Oracle queries, um, its goal is to um, break the match security and the key secrecy of the multiple handshakes protocol. Now we will introduce the main extensions we made in this, in this work. Firstly, we use the label to uniquely identify one session. The item, the item lead denotes the session index, and the pre-lead denotes the index of the related session in prior level. We can define the relations between different handshakes following the, um, by the following three rules. Namely, if the key materials used in label prime are derived from the session label, then we will cite the pre-lead of label prime equals the lead of label. And in this case, the session label prime lies uh, in the next level of the, of the session label. And if they share the same prelead, they must be in the same label. The composition of TRS 1.3 RTT and the PSK based resumption can be seen as an example. In this work, we extend the key dependence property from stage key dependence to the level key dependence. Namely, we say label prime has a level key dependence on label. 
um, is the J when the pre-lead of label prime equals the lead of label, such that the disclose of the session key KJ in label compromises the Q1 in label prime. And the keys for the keys in later stages of label prime may depend on why, may depend on the key dependence property of the session label prime. We also consider the semi-static keys which lies between the ephemeral keys and the static keys. In TRS 1.3, these keys will, um, will be contained in the server configuration message and will be cached for about one week for the zero RTT handshake mode. In, in our work, this key can consider to be corrupted after, after the handshake. Um, according to our analysis, um, in this case, the key secrecy property of those zero RTT is not affected. During the definition of the adversary model, the challenger um, should need to respond according to the specific properties of security model for the adversary query. Especially for the new session query, the association between new session and the related session in prior level should be considered. And for the review query, the future session keys of later stages and later levels may, may also be revealed due to the key dependence uh, property. So that if, so that if for the corrupt query, all sessions that use the same static and semi-static keys should also be side corrupted. And at the last for the test query, the sessions that are considered to be fresh before should be devised to um, avoid trivial handshake, to, to avoid uh, um, trivial attacks. The, the security goal of multi-level and stage security model are split in two games, one for key secrecy and the other for match security. Uh, key secrecy um, ensures the session keys for all levels and stages look random, and match security um, ensures the session identifiers match the pattern sessions in three different cases, namely the same mode and same level, across modes and across levels cases. Based on the multi-level and stage security model and uh, uh, the following uh, security assumptions, namely the signature key scheme is geared against the UFCMA and the DDH problem and the gap DH problem are hard. And the hash function is a, is a collision resistant and the PRI function is random. Uh, then we can prove that TRS 1.3 draft 10 multiple handshake protocol is multi-level and the stage secure in the OWL model. We accomplish the proof by induction on the number of handshakes, namely N. Now we, not let we have a look at the proof sketch. In the first step, for N equals one, we, we show that the, the theorem holds. Next, if pi is a multi-level and stage secure protocol, and uh, consists of N minus one successive hand, handshakes, then we can show that the composition of pi with the new session label prime uh, satisfy both the match security and the key security. More specific, for n equals one, which means that there is only one level uh, and one handshake, namely, uh, one TRI, namely the TRS 1.3 full handshake mode. We show that uh, in this case, the theorem holds due to the result of DFGS 2015-5. The second part for match security. Firstly, note that the multi-level and stage secure protocol pi must exist due to the um, result of the first step. Here we use the pi prime to denote the composition of pi with the new session label prime with any possible handshake mode. Since pi is much secure, then 
um, in the same mode and the same level case, um, we just need to focus on the match security of multiple uh, executions of label prime. And for both the across modes and across level cases, we show that the, the session label prime does not match any session in Pi. And thus, we can prove that the new protocol Pi prime satisfies the match security. The last one for key secrecy. The key secrecy property of Pi guarantees the indistinguishability of certain keys and the confidentiality of the encrypted key materials derived from the session Pi that is used in the session label prime. And then we can focus on the key property of the label prime in isolation. As a result, um, we shown that uh, Mm, the session label prime with each of the three handshake modes, namely the PSK based resumption, resumption in combination with the DHE, the zero RTT handshake mode satisfies the key secrecy property mm, with their own running minor. Mm, for example, the running minor of zero RTT is a key independent stage, stage two for our secrecy. Uh, with these two um, authentication modes. During the proof of the RTT, the OWL model is used. Up to now, we have finished the proof of the key secrecy and also the Intel um, theorem. At the last of this work, we tried to apply the multi-level and stage security model to TS 1.2. Here we consider TRS 1.2 with unencrypted finish messages. Uh, since the unaltered TRS 1.2 cannot be proven secure under the BR like model. In this case, the triple handshake attack still works. And the um, first, first stage of TRS 1.2 full handshake is for the master secret, and the second stage is for the session key. According to our analysis, the multi-level and stage security model can capture the triple handshake attack by satisfying the following two conditions defined by MITRE security. And moreover, the security proof of TRS 1.2 patched with RFC 7627 can be similar to that for TRS 1.3. This result in turn Mm, confirm the soundness of the new security model. In conclusion, mm, the work we have done can be summarized as four parts. Firstly, we give the first formal definition of multi handshake key exchange protocol. Secondly, we introduce the multi level and stage security model for, multiple, for, for, multi, for multiple handshake protocol. Then we analyze the security of TRS 1.3 draft 10 multiple handshake protocol in multiple level and stage security model. At last, we confirm the soundness of the multi level and stage security model by applying it to TRS 1.2. That's all. Thank you. Questions? Thanks for the talk. Uh, I wonder, I didn't fully understood, you said that the zero trip time keys you expect or you want to have them secure even if the semi-static key is leaked, so this small s and the g to the s. Is that what I understood that correctly or, or not? So, so I'm should, sorry. Do, do, you, do you prove that the zero trip time keys established are secure even if you later reveal the semi-static? Because I thought I saw it on the slides, but but maybe let's take it off another way. Can go back. Uh, so uh, could we go back a few slides? So uh, which slide do do we need to go back again? Uh, which slide do you want? We're to somewhere in the model description where you talk about security uh, of the run. Can we go back again? Yeah. Okay. Uh,
Wait, there. Okay, go one forward and one back. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. So you say the server configuration DTS can be corrupted after the handshake, and it does not affect the key secrecy of zero round trip time. Yeah. Okay, but isn't the key just built from something where if you know S, you learn the key? Mm. Mm. When when the same stack key in zero RTT is corrupted, mm, the the early application traffic key is revealed. But this case has been tried, has been covered by our security model. Yeah. Okay, so you consider it revealed and not anymore yeah. good. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.